All we've been seeing lately is idiocy, so why not throw in this with all the rest as well? So I was tagged in this last night, and my word. Carl Benjamin, I have decided to apologize to Jess Phillips for insulting her. She is right that our politics have coarsened over the years, and I regret contributing to that. I hope Jess will accept my apology in the spirit in which it is given. Considering this is over a joke from about, what, five or six years ago now? My immediate reaction, you're stupid and this is dumb. Four things are instantly wrong with this. You're apologizing for an old joke to a Labour MP, a woman, and you said she was right. In an era where there is a severe lack of any masculinity in the public sphere, optically, this is a PR disaster. It's like he's learned nothing about politics in the last six years. Jeremy's prediction there is dead on. You will soon be reminded of your own advice to never apologize. Precisely. And I know, I know, there will be some idiots who go, Oh, what a class act. He looks principled. Bollocks to that. Life is not an old Disney movie, people. This is reality. Politics 101. Principles are for people in power. Only act on them when you are in a position of strength. If your principles make you look weaker and allow the enemy to advance, you don't act on them. Sargon has managed to build up a media company in spite of his prior shenanigans on YouTube. He is not part of any political establishment, only adjacent to it. Let's examine the potential reactions here, because considering this move is fresh off the heels of a Labour victory and a Tesco value Ken Doll just became Prime Minister, the timing screams sketchy, and the move will raise a lot of eyebrows, particularly among his own supporters, who will no doubt ask, what the hell are you doing? What is to be gained from this? Basic human observation here, cause and reaction. In our timeline, there is extremely low trust in institutions even vaguely twinged with politics. I'm sure you guys will have noticed anyone that casually flirts with what is considered extreme via today's pathetically narrow Overton window seems to get called a fed. This is the kind of move that can initiate the whispers of controlled up. Especially that last line. I hope just will accept my apology in the spirit in which it is given my good God. I can smell the scent of skin knees and soy from here. Is there any indication whatsoever this individual is going to graciously accept your apology? No, no there isn't. Which begs the question, why are you groveling for forgiveness over five years later? This is pathetic and humiliating. Again, we have seen this for years on end now. Apologizing in this space is not a sign of principle and grace. It is a sign of weakness. Those who previously sided with you will lose respect for you and think you are hopelessly naive at best and an idiot at worst. Who is this supposed to appeal to, to court and win over? What is the aim of this effort exactly? Again, the media company was built in spite of the prior YouTube shenanigans. This comes across like a cleansing ritual designed to ingratiate yourself with the upper classes because either you, or someone in your company rather, has higher aspirations. Perhaps of the political variety, geez I wonder who that could possibly be referring to. If this is to be some maneuver to ingratiate yourself with the players inside the regime, considering previous events that still has the lingering of a sour taste, hence the spectacle, and an army of the digital autists that is this generation who are now of voting age, wiser and more politically astute, I can't imagine they will see a potential player like this as anything more than containment. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing. <laughs>